you want to download hundreds of megabytes of texture maps for your texture and litter your RAM with them? What? Why would you do that when you can just grab any image file, put the image into Blando and use it for everything? Yes, I mean everything. What do I mean everything? Well, first of all, you need to copy the first image texture, then instead you click on this little number so the data will be aligned. Click on the drop down menu here and select non color data instead of sRGB. We are onto something for sure. Now you will need a color ramp at the bump node. Yes, bump the non color image output into the bump node to create a bump map. Reduce the strength to make it more realistic and less rough. We are already halfway through for the perfect texture set. Let's just grab this image texture and plug the output into the color ramp input. See what this has done. This is called ART. And it's also called proper non-uniform reflections, just like your good old PBR textures would do it. And this is not even its true form. Duplicate the color ramp, use the non-color image for input, and use the color ramp settings to correct the specular lighting. The correction will depend on your texture, of course, you might need it to be very glossy or not that batch. So we have two color ramps for controlling both the roughness and the specular lighting. Sweet! And this isn't even the end of this tutorial. You might say, but Mr. CG crafted I wanna use my displacement mask for a 3D realistic displacement, and all I can say to that is fine, but you might be able to get away with only using... Uh... Yes, another color ramp. Duplicate the roughness color ramp, then grab a displacement node. Get the beautiful non-color image for the displacement node, plug it into uh, height. Turn down the size so this won't turn into a spiky terrible thing and then we are done. Although this doesn't work all the time, the smoothness can be changed greatly with the help of the color ramp and by reducing the displacement size. Oh, also don't forget to subdivide your object by a crazy high subdivision level or your displacement won't work. Also under the displacement settings change the bump only to displacement only mode so the displacement will surely work. And turn on smooth shading. That's it! We created a different type of black and white images for all the texture maps. We have the bump map, the roughness and specular map and even a displacement map that can work for a lot of textures as well. Who needs to spend time with creating a lot of texture maps outside of Blender, right? If you like this video, that's good. If you turn on notifications by clicking on the bell, that's good. If you donate me on Blender Market, CG Trader, or anywhere else I'm currently available, that's also good. If you say bye, that's super good because bye.